pity, that's what I want. <laughs> uh, it is nice to be here. I did uh, grow up a geek, as I'm sure uh, most of you guys did, unless some of you went to geek finishing school to learn how to do it. <laughs> Growing up a geek is difficult for everybody, uh, but it was especially difficult for me because <laughs> I'm sorry, I just never uh, talked about this to anybody. Uh, it was especially difficult for me because my parents were nerds. <laughs> uh, some people think nerds and geeks are the same thing. Those no, people are noobs. <laughs> Uh, I'll never forget the, the day my parents found out I was a geek. We were sitting around the dinner table and my dad was discussing Star Trek. And he was criticizing the implausibility of transporting down to a planet while a spaceship is in warp drop. And I wasn't thinking, and I just blurted out, who cares whether or not it's scientifically plausible? What matters is that it's cool. <laughs> My mother's mouth dropped open, her retainer fell out. <laughs> My father put down his calculator. And he said, what did you say? And I said, I don't care about the scientific plausibility of Star Trek. I just think spaceships are cool. <laughs> My father rolled up his copy of the International Journal of Critical Computer-Based Systems. <laughs> Well, young man, guess who's going to bed without programming any algorithms tonight? <laughs> Inside me, a damn burst. I said, the only reason I like programming computers is because I want to make video games. <laughs> I don't know you anymore, my father said. <laughs> it's like you've been replaced with a robot. <laughs> if I was a robot, I would shoot you with my laser eyeballs. <laughs> My father took out his 12-sided die and rolled a saving throw. <laughs> you missed. <laughs> Besides, he said, lasers are supposed to be instruments for scientific study. They're not supposed to be used as weapons. Oh yeah, I said, well tell that to G.I. Joe. And I stomped off to my room, and I hid under my Thundercats covers in my TARDIS bunk bed. I didn't go to chemistry camp that summer. I traded my microscope for the first issue of Wolverine. Size cardboard replica of the Enterprise my father and I were building and turned it into the Millennium Falcon. I dropped out of orchestra and started a Devo cover band with some friends. By the time I told my parents I wasn't going to go to school for physics, I was going to become a wizard instead. <laughs> Since then, my father and I haven't talked much, uh, but a couple days ago, I was at home playing World of Warcraft, and the phone rang, and it was my dad. You, yeah, woo for phones. <laughs> he said, hey, I'm going to the Academy of Natural Sciences tonight to watch a movie called Mega Shark vs. Crocosaurus. <laughs> Some biologists will be there offering commentary that points out as many scientific inaccuracies. <laughs> Do you want to come see the movie with me? I gasped. Shots. I couldn't believe it. My guild had just defeated the Doom Lord Kazak, commander of the Burning Legion in Outlands. Our quest was complete. Then I remembered my dad was still on the phone. I was like, oh yeah, sure, yeah, I'd love to see a movie with you. How'd you hear about it? And he said, I heard about it on the internet. On a blog. Called Giga Delphia. Giga Delphia? <laughs> yeah, he said. It's Latin. <laughs> it's 
slide the fruit and nerds fucking rule. 